Alright, so this video, I'm going to show you how to get a Windows working on an Xbox. And this doesn't work on just Xbox, it'll work on anything with a web browser. Like, PlayStation has one. There is one in, uh, in the Nintendo Switch, but kind of hard to get going. I'm not going to show that because I haven't even done it yet. Because I don't want to break my Switch, but I have seen a video on YouTube about it. But um, what you're going to need is actually another Windows computer. And if you don't have one, then this video isn't for you because this won't work. Because you can't just run Windows on an Xbox. You actually, this is going to work. Kind of, it's remote desktop, so what you're going to need to do is open the web browser, and I don't know why I'm opening Opera here, because you need either Chrome or f uh, Firefox for this to work, because uh, anything else will not work. So, just go to your Google Chrome or Firefox web browser, and in the search box, type in Chrome Remote Desktop. And then go to the one that's by Google. And then, I don't know why I have this here. Uh, delete. Uh, because I, I'm going to show you here how to get this going. So, um, what you're going to do here when you're on the app, or the, the website, it's going to say this. It should. If it, it's, if it makes you sign in your Google account, then just go ahead and do that. Just click on access my computer, and then just sign in. So, if you want to, it, it will give you this little thing down here. If you can, it, this is optional, you don't have to install this, but you can. Just click install, and you can install Chrome Remote Desktop here. But, after you have that installed, I don't need it, so... Just go ahead right here, just click turn on. It's going to put your PC name. You can, this, you can change this if you want to. And click next. And then it's going to make you set a pin. So just put a pin in, just a random pin. You're going to make you enter that again. And then you can, you, this is optional, you don't need to check this, but if you want to, you can. And then click start. During this time, it actually will bring up a UAC prompt. So if it, when it does, you're gonna have to click yes on the UAC prompt, and then it should just give you this screen. And then after this, I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need to do on the Xbox. All right. So now, when you do, it, turn on your Xbox, get the controller, hold the Xbox button down, and then the Xbox will turn on. I might have to change the input to actually Let me just do that real quick. There we go. So there we go, your Xbox is going to turn on. And you do not have to install anything on the Xbox. This is simply all gonna run in a web browser. And this doesn't, you can also run, means you can technically use this as a virtual machine. Problem is, it's gonna be on a real computer though, so. It's no way to ruin a computer. And then it's going to make you sign in your account. And I'm gonna get onto my uh, account here. I mean, I have to blur this out, of course. And then... And then, go to My Games and Apps. And then go to Apps. And then, uh, once all the apps show up here, which they should. going to need to go Microsoft Edge. Click on A, on Microsoft Edge, to open Edge. 
So we'll open here. This will also work on stuff like a series or uh, Series X and even the 360. Of course, it's not going to be the best. I don't know if it'll work on the 360 because it uses Internet Explorer and that doesn't work for anything anymore. But Microsoft Edge is a sensible web browser. I wouldn't say I don't use Internet or uh, Microsoft Edge, but I don't really see too much too bad with it. So wait for Edge to start up. This is an old Xbox, so this is gonna take a little while. And there you go. And I have a mouse cursor. You can move it with the joist, the left joystick. And then should you show the home screen in a minute? And there we go. It's running Edge. And just get that out. Yeah, I don't care. Must enter, just cancel. And there we go, we have Edge running. So, now we're gonna go to the search bar. And we're going to type in Chrome Remote Desktop. I might, I, in, in the search box here. Alright, Chrome Remote Desktop. It's going to search it up. You scroll with the right joystick. And then you're going to click on that one. It's going to make me sign in. So hit access my computer. If you're already signed in, it probably won't make you do this. And I'm going to need to enter my account credentials. Alright, so now when you get signed in, it should show you this screen. Now what you're going to want to do here, it should show all the PC you just clicked, and then you're just going to click on it, and it's going to begin connecting, it's going to make you enter the PIN. That's weird. Oh, there we go. And then you just have to enter the PIN. Oh, wait. So now, when it's done, you just click on the continue button. And then, you can allow that if you want to. Just click allow. And then, now you can control your Windows computer. Of course, if you just ha it'll be better if you disconnect one of the monitors. So then it would be easier to see. But as you can see, I can now access Windows from my Xbox. And again, you just use the it's kind of hard to use, but it's uh it certainly works, and of course, if I disconnect my other monitor. Now, it will only show one of the screens and it will be easier to see, which is what I recommend doing. It will also mirror the sound, so it will come out of the speakers on your TV, and then you can just load stuff up. It's kind of hard, but at least Windows highlights the, uh, the apps that you're about to click. So. And you can, of course, Roblox is on console. This is a way, because you actually have to have console enabled in the games to play on the console. So this is kind of easier, because, you know, PC, and you can play games. And you can use anything that's Windows. And if you want to, you can even full screen by going to the three dots and then clicking that full screen icon. And now it will be a little easier to see. And there you go. And also, um, if you want to disconnect, because if you're finally, you don't want to use Windows anymore, you just, just move your cursor to the top and it will show the top bar. 
And then you can just click the three dots again, click the full screen again, and we'll unfull screen. And then you just close the tab out. And then it will disconnect, and you'll be back on the Xbox home screen. And then you can go ahead and hook up the second monitor again. I'd recommend turning off your speakers on the PC too, so I don't want to like duplicate the audio. So yeah, that's how to get Windows working on here, and I hope this video helped.